Hey, so we're we're sitting here on the podcast and we had a question. So why why do uh, hotels have such bad TVs? <coughs> These are TV service. Oh, both. both. Yeah. Oh well, the TV thing would be just because it costs so much to stay updated with the current models. That that was that was the hypothesis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like almost the forced obsolescence right. of electronics. That right. that that's probably the biggest reason. The the bad signal, the bad service, of course, that can vary. That might just be that you're not staying in an expensive enough hotel. <laughs> yeah, <Okay. so. laughs> Good thing I can't bet because yeah, you're, so Nick so far this year is one in five. <laughs> do you guys want to do lines with Nick? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're ourselves <laughs> 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 That hurt. <laughs> Again, 5% chance of Hurricane Katrina. Hi guys. Welcome to Welcome. Season 2. Welcome to, welcome, to your, welcome to your local teens. Your local teens. Your local teens. Your local teens. I do have this cool mug though. Evan, show the camera the mug. You got any water in there or anything? No, I don't have, I do have beef jerky chew in there. Welcome to season two, episode uh, fifteen. We've lost count. Uh, whatever episode 15. fifteen. I've been gone for a while, so Nick has been absent. No, he was here in the he, last episode. Remember, he, he had got his work done. Oh yeah, he so got his work hair. done back. He, he, he decided it wasn't done. a good idea. He got he he got a refund on the surgery. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I did indeed. Just didn't like the appearance. Of it. Even though it was pretty, pretty nice. Hey, if if I do say so, if we do say so ourselves, if we do uh, say so ourselves. We just we just get by, by the time we leave here. Oh yeah. Um. What? Um. So we're just gonna keep yapping until Nick finds our our discussion for today's episode. Are we playing Kingdoms and Castles? What was the question? Have you played Kingdoms and Castles? Oh, like pick, pretty pick five cool. to defend you. You build a castle, people, I think. I'd love to build a castle. That'd be sick. I'd call mine like poop castle. I'd call <laughs> mine like <laughs> only the finest humor on your local teams. Poop jokes, that's pee true. jokes. We are considered a comedy podcast. We are. That's like the only description. Comedy. Well, and okay. teenage boys ponder life for ponder life minutes. for forty five minutes from getting our legs or killed. from from failing a vocab test, test to getting our legs killed. destroyed in track. Yeah. We've got it covered. Speaking of failing vocab quizzes, anatomy I'm gonna fail. It's nowhere close to a vocab quiz, but Yeah, same. Um need to get an eighty five on the final to keep my A. Uh I don't got <coughs> Yeah, I gotta keep I like a that. seventy no seventy. I gotta keep like a sixty six four to keep a B. Your boy has to get a 107% to get a... A 7? How on earth are you going to get a 7? I don't know. I need about... I need the greatest academic comeback since, like... That ain't even a comeback. That's just... That's a miracle. miracle. That's the... That's the... the Hill City miracle. Uh, (laughs) I have something to discuss about. Go for it. So my sister came home last night, and she was just reading up on the news. In a little town called Aberdeen, South Dakota, there's this guy, he has his post on Facebook or whatever, he's called the Aberdeen Batman, and he stands up on buildings dressed up as Batman and just takes scenic pictures. I think it's Sinuji. I think it's Sinuji. Shout out to Aberdeen Batman. Man. I was That's thinking funny. that I should become the Hill City Batman in the all green and gold Batman and stand on buildings you and stop the petty taken. Branson's Batman. I'm gonna have to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> like you know all, how all Batman at midnight. You know how like Bane broke Batman's back that one time. I'm gonna have to do that to Brenton. I'm just have to pick him up over. <laughs> do a full like freaking KO. Just knock out. And he's not gonna get his redemption. You know he's gonna have to be in a wheelchair 
ask what happened. I was Batman, and then supervillain broke my back, you know, and then became Batman. No, I'm bat. I'm gonna be Batman. That is a threat towards you, Brenson. He doesn't watch. We could totally be Batman and Superman. We can have our like capes flown in the wind. Hey, you'd have to be Robin. Can I be Batman? No. Uh, yeah, you could be Batgirl. Thank you. Caleb, you want to be Alfred in the back? <laughs> I'm actually uh, Commissioner Gordon. Black Widow. Black Widow. You're Black Widow. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, uh, what's her name, plays? Uh, is it, is it Black, Black Widow uh, Marvel? Yeah, but it's Black, Black Widow Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my bad, that's my bad, my bad. I'll be Wonder Woman, then. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Woman's DC. She's got an invisible plane. That's true. That is true. But she can fly, so why does she need an invisible plane if she can fly? Yeah. True. That's one thing I never understood. Yeah, I know. I feel like it's just a liability. No. DC or Marvel? Marvel. They have great movies. Marvel is actually <coughs> alright movies recently. <coughs> alright. I thought that third Guardians movie was pretty alright. But that came out a while ago now. Yeah, but that was the last one. Off. That was the last one I actually liked in a hot minute. Well, you know, they're Disney now, so I mm-hmm. I, I fear the future of Marvel. What Disney does ruins everything. Change from me. I cannot find this. Dude, they were like deep in the history teacher's subreddit for sure. Star Wars. Yeah, that's crazy. No, but in uh, Younger Noises class, we keep talking about, so he has like a grid, it's five by five grid on it, and it says, pick five of these to defend you, and the rest attack you. And we had some pretty heated debate, well, not heated, we had some debates about it, and we were going to go talk, we were going to talk about it on here, but <coughs> we can't find the grid, so. Yeah, so basically... As you progress from left to right and top to bottom, um, they get newer in time, but uh, there's more, or, yeah, but less there's less of less them. Yeah. So it goes from like, <coughs> it goes from 750 Neanderthals all the way to one Navy SEAL. Okay. Have you seen this, Evan? I've not seen it, but 750 cavemen could absolutely <coughs> murk a Navy SEAL. Like, how many no. rounds does... How many rounds does a... Like, See, that's have? my only thing. How many rounds does the Navy SEAL have? How far away are they? Does he right. have nades? It's, have it's nades? very dependent on situation. Exactly. But everyone was saying, just take all the people with guns. Because there's yeah, like... It's the bottom five. It's the, all modern. Well, modern. Right. Guns. It's like 1900s to now. Um, but... I think one of the things was like 450 Persian spearmen. That's a, they're good. Dude, that's a ton of people. And you just have them like. That's, that's I, and half they can. The city population. And they can like throw right. a spear, can't they? Yeah. And yeah. the Navy SEAL isn't going to be able to kill all of them before he gets hit with one spear. All it takes is one spear. And he's either like on the ground bleeding or dead. But you're not thinking of like, would you want a Navy SEAL attacking you? If if I had a war or, or, or if I had a an army of Persians, I'd feel confident against one Navy SEAL. If I had an army of Persians and cavemen, granted both of them might be dumb as rocks, but I'm stupid too. So that's just like I'm fold into them. I'd probably become caveman, Persian god emperor, and just like hide behind them as I send them at all the Navy SEALs. I think it would be really funny if like this all attack happened just like in one doorway. That's what I wish it was. Just like just one hallway. One single doorway. And then there's like well, then, 750 well, then, You know who's got it? Coming. The suicide bomber. Yeah. There's four yeah. suicide bombers. Yeah, that that's was the second option. I'm, I would not pick the suicide bomber because yeah. they're a one-time use. Yeah. Unless it's in that doorway situation, I wouldn't pick them. See, if you're like playing tabs, you know how they're set up oh, the yeah. tabs? tabs? If it was like people, that right? situation... Like numbers just an empty field. You have yeah, to go numbers. It's absolutely game. numbers game. But I don't know how a Navy SEAL attack. Like how many so World War II soldiers are you gonna get though? Um, you get 
10. Uh, you, you'd get like 15 World War I soldiers, yeah. maybe. Trench. World War One. That's not bad, depending on who and you then like, But my logic, even thinking there, fit. so the second I saw it, Noise showed it to me, like, secretively in class one day. And I'm like, well, you got to go with the people with guns, right? But then I thought about it more and more. Like, 15 trench soldiers. I just think, I mean, do, do, it, they, do they get to use their machine guns? It depends if they come with, like, a variety of loadout. Because right. They if they're, have, like, a little army have, man pack, you know, 15 <laughs> army man pack. They have one LMGs. Machine gun. Right, if it's LMGs, like if had... it's if it's Western Front, Pine like Ridge. French people, dude, I'm totally picking 15 of them because they they can dig in and they have machine guns. Machine guns are gonna rip through any kind of wood shield that comes yeah. their way. Yeah, but if they're just thinking using your little, little... Start thinking strategically, right? How <laughs> if I could use the pioneers and place them strategically? If I could go Viet Cong style and throw them up in trees and whatnot. At nighttime, I think I could have it in the bag with just some pioneer soldiers. <laughs> just some cowboys. Just some cowboys, dude. I've seen my plenty of westerns. I've played Red Dead too. I know what one cowboy can do. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a little bit of plot armor in Red Dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, that a little bit matter. more than a little bit. <laughs> like, Probably the STDs would kill per- first before Persian, anything, dude. Persian soldiers. <laughs> 450 Persian soldiers, you just rush down everybody with guns, and then you like, you, you make a big old circle, like multi <laughs> circle with spears, and no one else is going to I think one of the, and then the second row, or third row, is all muskets, right? Musketeers. Well, not all of them, but, but, but I, I mean, there's, there's cowboys, no. but, then, but then there's like, and I think if you, it was like a hundred Maybe, or maybe it wasn't even, not quite a hunger. 40, like, Napoleon Old Guard or something. Oh, I'm taking those guys. But but I was like, mm, yeah. I think you need to go the sides of the spectrum. You need to go with numbers or good guns. There's no, no in between. No, no, Dude, no, no, no. Think about it. They're sitting there. there. There's a horde of stinking Persians coming at you, and you got to... I gotta reload my muskets. Well, no, you muskets are you shoot you shoot eighty of them with one shot because you pierce one. Then they throw on their bayonets. I guess forty's not gonna take down. Okay, okay. This isn't you can't go with anybody with muskets. Okay, this isn't the topic. But in the Revolutionary (laughs) War, whenever they used muskets, why wouldn't they just use like a bow and arrow? Because you'd think that'd be way better. Because I gotta do is just go. Range. Yeah. Yeah, but you can. Range. So, have you guys seen Braveheart? Yeah. Dude, we have a rough colleague. She's from Scotland. Every time we yeah. watch that movie, she gets crazy. Like, she wants her freedom from us, I guess, whenever she watches it. But. <laughs> no, so they, uh, there's this one big guy, oh, right? That big guy, yeah. And, and he gets an axe, like, stuck in his leg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, he doesn't pull out, which is good. But but he just like keeps like swinging around his sword and stuff, and he's while well, he's fighting with an axe in his leg. That's like an arrow doesn't kill you all the, all the time. No, 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 especially with armor. Right. No, no, no. Like those those like plate mail. You know armor, that that is a movie. It's just gonna plink off arrows. That is a movie that I haven't seen in a couple <laughs> of years, but I truly recommend to people in the audience. Is Braveheart. It's it a very is a good movie. We watched it like last year. Very good movie. It's a very good movie. A little long, so if you can't sit through a whole movie like that, probably. And people not. who can't sit through a long movie are just victims of a TikTok yeah, attention. Span. Exactly. I Unless myself cannot sit through two to three long movies. I can watch one. I can get right. halfway through a second one before I start getting bored. I myself do not have a very good you know attention what? span. Me myself, I can I can sit through a good half of the the trilogy, the right. Lord of the Rings trilogy. Ah, uh, it's hard for me to get through the first one because I already know what happens. Because my sister make my sister always makes me watch them. Like every if, time. if you're watching Star Wars, you can watch. Uh, oh, we need a Star I, Wars. I, I about got there. back into the Star Wars. We need to do a Star Wars. Movie. Uh, Dude, I'm that. telling you. Oh, what we did the math that one time. Yeah. Twenty twenty seven hours. It was yeah. like twenty six. Yeah. yeah. We were gonna do it over this summer, and then we just didn't. Yeah. We were all yeah, we were busy. What you boys doing for Christmas break? 
or I'm going to shred the slopes and play some Minecraft. Now that thing's if you guys on the line watched up. Max and I's holiday special, you know what we're doing. But I got to add playing some Minecraft on after that because our server is going to be pretty good. Operation Snitzel. Gonna be fire. <laughs> I told them what it is. So. Oh, come on. That was going to be the great plan. We're going to steal all the cows and put them in. This will get us banned. You can't say that. Yeah, maybe we just we just end it. We're gonna steal all the cows. We're gonna steal all the cows. I'll, I'll try to shred the slopes as much as I can, but uh, I'm going to a good old D Smith for a little, a little classic D Smith. Oh. A little uh, Christmas Eve Christmas action there. You put a little bit of like lip balm on, or what's yeah, going on I put there? chapstick on. You're you're very shiny. I, I got some it. dry lips. Right yeah, Accutane, get me home. Mm-hmm. How many medieval knights are you getting though? Because medieval knights, I feel like, like so okay. One of them was Mongol. <coughs> archer. Mongol archers, like they're pretty good. It was like seventy-five or something. Maybe. They're yeah. on horses too. They're on yeah, horses. they're on horses. That's I think that's a shout. I mean, we were looking this up. Genghis Khan was, was a ball. We Dude, were, we were looking this up. I want to be Genghis Khan when I get older. Okay. Is it like so three um, percent of the population? Well, not for that part. Maybe not all the. The pillaging R wording, you know. But <laughs> is it like twenty <laughs> percent of the population related to Genghis Khan? Yeah, so Genghis like Khan, we found out only had like twelve confirmed children. Yeah, confirmed. But, you but because of how, because then the people after him, mm-hmm. his kids had so many kids, like he did, and then their kids had so many kids. Eight percent of the Asian men have Genghis Khan DNA, which is point oh five percent. Of the, world. of the world population. That's still crazy, though. I wish that there was a stat of how many people are just Mongol DNA. Because it's got to be a crazy amount. Yeah. Just plain Mongol. It's got to be like 6%. Yeah, so, so we figured out I don't they see. killed in their like pillages or whatever. They killed like 40 million people. <laughs> yeah, 40 million. <clears throat> Mao Zedong killed 40 to 80 million people. So this was... In the 1100s, they killed as, like, the Mongols killed as many people as Mao Zedong. Yeah, what, how many people did it say? Like, 800 million was the population of the world at that time? Yeah. That also doesn't equate uh, North America. Right. But that's a lot. Yeah. yeah, 40 million out of 800 million. <laughs> That's a way to keep yourself entertained. <laughs> that's a way to Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's how you had to kill he like only 10% ruled of the for twenty one years or something like yeah. that, which is crazy. How much land he gained in twenty one years? Dude, yeah. Freaking Alexander! Didn't his empire crumble pretty fast after he died, though? Uh, yeah, I'm old. pretty sure it did. It, that's not sustainable. How it much split land into had. like warlords and stuff. No, and one hundred and fifty thousand was the max they had for their soldiers. So 150,000 soldiers killed 40 million. That's an insane KD ratio. Dude, well, they were all civilians and stuff. But. Yeah, but they were killing. Well, they almost wiped out the whole samurai population. Which, Dude, everybody gives samurai such a cool rep. Like, they have cool armor and swords and whatnot. But, like, a couple of models would look like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I'd take an experienced cowboy, if on a one-on-one fight, an experienced cowboy, like gunslinging cowboy, versus a lot of other, like, fighters, like, except maybe a couple modern ones, I'd take them over a lot of other ones. Yeah, I just yeah, think I, the samurai, if, if he gets close enough to kill you, he's gonna kill you, but, like, if you just get use close. an arrow, yeah. I okay, think- but you know, at one point in time, in the, there was one point where you could have a British, like, Old like old Victorian cat thief who breaks into buildings, steals stuff like that. A cowboy and a samurai, technically all in the same place at <laughs> once, and that would historically make sense. There's one where like Abe Lincoln and um someone else could have ridden in the first submarine or something. I can't remember. Samurai are so cool, but so lame when you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Because like when they would fight each other. It'd be just like one slash. That's kind of lame. Like, yeah, they'd like fight with each other, but too much honor. 
in their fighting style. I know. You know? Dude, if I saw, like, Samurai grabbing sand out of their pockets and throwing it at him, cutting at him with, like, a knife, dude, yeah, that'd be exactly. cool. I'm, I'm throwing kicks and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm spitting in their eyes. Yeah. The problem is, though, you throw a kick and you get your leg cut off. Yeah. Well, you gotta throw a, a smart kick. You gotta, you gotta parry a kick. <laughs> You're like, oh, I played this game. Haven't finished it yet, but Ghost of... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Crazy Japanese game. Really fun, but, you know, when you're fighting, you're like, well, these are, like, just lame lightsabers. I think the only problem was, is the samurai, um, like, came to be next to the greatly superior, like, um, Chinese, so they already had, like, gunpowder by the time. What were you going to yap about, Caleb? Do you guys know of uh, Counter-Strike? No, I do not know. You should FaceTime him up. On he might be doing some out. shenanigans with Cody. True. He might be shenanigans. <coughs> Just FaceTime him up. Huh? Yeah. Just give him his own little mic and set him right between you two. Yeah. This mic was going to be for him. But he didn't make it today. That's all I wanted for Christmas was Tanner to make. You guys didn't get new phone numbers, did you? Mm -mm. I wonder if this makes me extra loud. Or just echoey. I don't know. Why wouldn't it add just like that? Will you pick up viewers? I don't think he's gonna pick up this. You think he's in the shower? It could be. Dude, that's one long shower. Dude. 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 Does he have a third out? Dude. Okay, does he have a third out? Yeah. Call him Max. Should I face him? Face him. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's giving me a headache to be honest. Okay, we're done. Excuse me. Yeah, they're not here. They don't get to be on the pod. Yeah, episode. if you're not Someone here when I'm pushing here, the so I'm squad, my, uh, you can't be there when I'm collecting the loot. Fortnite quarter of the day. Fortnite quarter of the day. Those are tough, bro. Dude, those are tough. Am I in frame too? You should be. Oh. I like the little the little AI voice that says that Fortnite quarter of the day. If she wants <laughs> to do if you don't have a skin, then I don't know. Don't know. If AI yeah. take over the world, it's not going to be in our generation. So... We're gonna be dead. Have you seen the Tesla robot? Yeah, it's terrible. It, I it can't even sit it. down in a chair. I think it's gonna be a while until robots take over the world. Yeah. I'll be long dead, so it ain't gonna be bad. Like, they're like, oh, it can talk to you and squeeze an orange and blah, well, blah, blah. I'm like, it can't sit down in a chair. They would, robots would never do like a ground invasion. They'd just, <laughs> they'd just take over all of our electronics. Right. Yeah, I just have to live out Dogs are world. more advanced than robots. Yeah. Like, why are we scared about dogs taking over the world? Well, I'll be dead when they take over in the wolves. I'm on a dog tear they, today. They're too cute. For, I like yeah. dogs. Oh, so I made a fatal flaw. Oh, no. Mics have not been on this entire time. No, I was probably just very quiet. It was that. Uh -oh. No, no. It'll be fine. I'll figure it out. That's an issue for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're the percussionist, you know. Yeah. You get them them eggs. Get and... at it, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we were in band one day. I wanted to be a percussionist, but then um <coughs> what you put sex in the mid Mr. Reese, Reese yeah, told me I ain't got rid of. So I pooped on you in your interview with Nick. I was out there like Dude, everyone I clapped my hands. Everyone Veronica wanted to be a percussionist. Be a percussionist too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Every, everyone wanted to be a percussionist. No, Dude, no it's easy. You just sit in the back and pitch stuff until it sounds exactly. good. Exactly. Right? I had to play trumpet, but I got out of it because, you know, 
You need that, that third finger, but it's in the cast, kind of. Mm. Why don't you have it in your left hand? But you can't reach it your left hand. I, I gotta like, I gotta grab it, and I gotta go like, things around, get a left-handed trumpet. trumpet. I'm not buying a left-handed trumpet. That's like getting a left-handed hammer. You don't need it. Because they don't exist, I don't think. No, I'm sure they exist. Left-handed well, I don't like left-handed exist. people. <laughs> Good thing Tanner's not here. Tanner's He's sure. left-handed. I'm not talking to him. Mind frame? Am I in frame, too? I feel like you were definitely in frame. <laughs> the guy I'm in frame Mind. for saying I don't like left-handed people. Was I out of frame? I'm right-handed, but I gotta say, I, I use my left hand now to do most things, I don't like it. Okay, people who are left-handed just want to be different. Yeah? I just, don't think it works like that. I think it does. Just choose to be right-handed. I think at some point, they were like, I'm gonna annoy my sibling and have my <coughs> left hand at the dinner table so that we keep hitting it. <coughs> you know what, I'm just gonna That's make it with my sibling, I'm gonna make every high-five awkward. Yeah. Every handshake awkward. You know, I think it was probably more of a uh, which side of your brain is stronger. Um, I'm more of like the genetic condition. <laughs> like determining the right thing, you make the right thing and go, no, nah, I just chose it. It's yeah. not that yeah, deep, I think you just accidentally do it. I think it's just, he was like, man, I just want to make you know, everyone around me hate me and mad. You don't think I'm it's predetermined? No. no I, I think it's definitely not predetermined. They just want to be different. Okay, in all seriousness, I think it is a little pretty Yeah, yeah it's it, it it for sure. <laughs> but, like, left handed, then you're just it's wiping annoying. your hand Dude, off when you're writing. You know, Bad. I've been given some heat before because you're at your synapse table, right? You're drinking, or you're, you're eating up some, mm-hmm. some food, right? And then you got your fork in your right hand. Yeah. So you drink with your left. We put down the fork and grab the cup. Yeah, I put down the fork and grab the cup. No, you gotta. No, you, you gotta do it. That's just, that's <laughs> oh, that is just. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> no, you're eating right, and then drink some water. Keep eating. No, I just put it down. The fork. That's definitely at the Thanksgiving table. Like, yeah, that is the thing. You gotta munch, table. munch. When I'm at, I when I'm at my table. crib, it's elbows on the table, no shoes, no socks on. You know shorts on and just like a crappy t-shirt and i'm eating like a pig at my house like it's going all over that white t-shirt i never use like i got one that has like midwestern enchilada all over it, <laughs> it Dude, was mid- midwestern enchiladas gas they're gas my sister came home she actually makes good food let me tell you what oh she made those enchiladas she made baked mac and cheese last night and oh, i would slap a child for another bowl of that stuff <laughs> Your uh, your sister made our whole class cookies once. I know they're pretty good. They're pretty, pretty good. You know, pretty good. Evan is the uh, Evan's the king of metaphor. Yeah, metaphor. Metaphor. Oh, that slapping child was not a metaphor. That was just he wanted to slap a child. That just felt like a Make sure family guy cut away. Kid at car, Kmart, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that did feel like a family guy cut away. Yeah. yeah. In another world, that is happening right now. Evan is hitting a kid for another. Not even for mac and cheese. The whole premise of the thing is actually really stupid. <laughs> I think some of them are really funny, and then some of them are just bad. don't work. No. See, I think Family Guy can only get away with saying like racist and homophobic stuff, still, right? Mm-hmm. Because they've been around for so long, nobody <laughs> cares anymore. I it's think like they how can old get away people with say it that because South Park is worse. Probably that's true. Yeah, well, South yeah, Park is worse, true, but they don't want to cancel Family Guy now. Right, like it's been what? I like both. Years? I like both shows. I don't know. I don't get how people Family Guy still gets flack for, and South Park doesn't. Sometimes. We we were watching some Family Guy in the state track, right? <laughs> yeah. and uh, and they were in some like Swiss bakery, and it, the one guy said, it, "Like, would you like a piece of pee?" It's on oh, the yeah. and, and Isaac thought that was the funniest thing on this planet. Yeah. He's like, piece of pee. He was saying it the whole weekend. Oh, hey, I forgot about that. My, my mom's side's Swiss, so it makes sense. 
We want you to like a piece okay. of you. Okay. On Hotel list? TVs are so bad. Mm. Terrible. Have you ever noticed? Buy the cheaper ones like this. But it makes can. sense because they have to buy so many TVs. Yeah, I don't. I should call up my uncle and ask him why. I, I could call room. up some people right now. I could, I could probably you, ask my mom. You put, my your, you put your phone in here. No, we're not calling someone. I'm calling my grandpa right now. I'm <laughs> we're, not kidding. We're not going to call him it. to ask him why there's bad No, TVs. let's do it. You put, your, sure. put your phone in the... No. Dude, come on. No. Come on. Let's this is it. a useless No, thing. this is important. We know why they're bad. Well, we just want to yeah. talk to Caleb's <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> We Please. know. We all know why they're bad. This is Jesus. He would answer on a dime. So would my grandma, bro. You know Lyle, what the therapy you gecko. Him? He calls people I, I, in, I, I and would he's just like say, one of the most viewed people on Spotify for podcasts. I, I would just say, Spotify you know, service. Grandpa, I'm here with my friends. We were talking, and I wonder. I, I've been wondering why the motel TVs are so bad. It's because they need to buy so many. If that's his answer, good for you, Nick. We will give you a million dollars. We'll be back right after this commercial. Mm. I'm a commercial segment, Tate. I'm very hungry. You're hungry? Why don't you eat food? Tate, we should go food. get something to eat before college. Yeah, it's been... I don't know. Don't think so. All right. Ooh, I, I got a know. funny story for you guys. You just just, just after yeah, after extra. this. Oh, curls too. Cook his curls would be open. I'm down for whatever. After I'm this, not, I'm just hungry. After this, guys, I got a, <laughs> a <laughs> awfully funny story to tell you. Oh, I can't wait. All right. All right. Let's listen in here. Oh, you gotta like that. <laughs> he just eats up the seat. Hey, so we're we're sitting here on the podcast and we had a question. The answer is possibly. Okay. I don't think that's a possible answer. <laughs> <laughs> so so why why do uh hotels have such bad TVs? <coughs> have such bad what? Bad like bad quality TVs, you know. The TVs are TV service. Both. 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 Yeah. Oh, well, the TV thing would be just because it costs so much to stay updated with the current models. That that was that was the hypothesis, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like almost the forced obsolescence right. of electronics. That, right. that that's probably the biggest reason. The the bad signal, the bad service, of course, that can vary. That might just be that you're not staying in an expensive enough hotel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. That's 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 all we needed to know, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See, I told you. I told you. I had to call up an expert. That was, right. that was good. I feel like we could probably just leave Nick's phone there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna. I was just making sure everything was. Yeah, that's yeah, that's funny. Guys. That's, your grandpa's. I, I like your grandpa's. He grandpa's, has a way with words. He has. He said that so elegantly. <laughs> yeah, I, he, I he, used every word he I, said. I, he he probably felt like on the spot. You yeah. Know? He's all of a sudden he's on the internet. <coughs> I told you what the answer was gonna be. <coughs> okay. Do you want to hear my good story from yesterday? Of course. Sure. All right. After school, right? We did this Secret Santa thing in art club, right? I was sick as a dog. I couldn't make it. And something got me. It's not our time. Typically, our cue. Today, not our cue. Okay. You have the table. Before the bell rudely interrupted me, <laughs> we were going to the store. I got to get the Secret Santa gift because I didn't get the person who got me the Secret Santa gift, a Secret Santa gift, right? They got me a whole case of Shasta, right? It was like 24 in there. Okay. okay, so I went to I the took store. One. You took one. Took one? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you see it money. so yeah. offended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no. So I'm walking to Dollar General to get something, right? I got $25 in my pocket. We go there. I see Andreas at the park. I'm like, yo, Andreas, you want to go to Dollar General with me? Get some. And he's like, sure, let's go. We go to Dollar General. We pick out gifts. There's, it's just like mostly food, but I get some funny gift. It's Five dollars thing of motor oil. I put that in the little oh, gift basket. There's motor oil in there now. So, and then we, and then Andreas, 
He goes to the back. He pulls out one of those sparkling, like, grape juice things that look like the wine oh, bottles, those, right? Oh, he's, those like, are good. he's like, Evan, can we get this? I'm like, throw it in there, Andre. She's like, a little kid, mommy, can I have this hot wheel car? So we get that. And we're walking down the street. And we have this bottle. We have the label flipped around us. So it just looks like we're drinking out of the green bottle. And all these old people are coming down the road. And they see us drinking this bottle that looks like out. Who is that? Who is that? Mr. Satter. Oh. Hi, Mr. Satter. Oh, hi, Mr. Satter. But, and then they see us drinking this bottle that looks as if it's like alcohol. And we, all these old people are coming. And they think me and Andres are getting hammered by this bottle of alcohol because we're laughing our butts off every time they come by. They just go like, and they turn around and we're just like cracking up and I'm coughing my lungs out and it looks, oh, it's so <laughs> hilarious. And then the eighth grade, oh, I'm not gonna give her name, but one of the teachers came by and she's driving, she looked at us and she went, like put her hands in the <laughs> I remember, I think it was seventh grade year. There's like a middle school basketball game, girls, and we we buy one of those, and then we eat a whole bag of popcorn, and put the paper bag so, yeah. over it, and then we're like, every time Mr. Schreier would come by, we'd like pick it up and be like, oh, oh, and then he was like, what's in the bag? And then we put it out, and he's like, oh, I knew you guys wouldn't be drinking. Mm. We did, me and Max did that with a empty, like, I forget what it was. I think it was like <coughs> Crown Royale. It was one of those massive like jugs. Emptied it out, cleaned it out, whatever. Put apple juice in it, uh, and we were juice. gonna play a plan- prank on our parents. And then you know the police just happened to be there, and they kind of just chuckled at us. None of us, none of them took us serious. Uh, he was arrested that day. Yeah, um, <laughs> take, I've actually I've done jail. some hard times. <laughs> yeah. Served five years in county jail. I'm I'm seasoned. Seasoned criminal. Jeez. You know, in, I don't remember what state it was. You can be charged for crimes at like four years old. Yeah, it's like Maryland or whatever. Yeah. Like the capital. Well, I assume so. If you murder someone at four. Well, that's, no, oh, uh, someone. A little some kid, kid was picking flowers yeah. in the field, and he was like Saw eight. Same TikTok. So, exact same one. Yeah. He's, he's picking flowers, and the kid had such low attention span in court. His uh, what was it? Defendant, not defendant, but the <laughs> yeah, color and sheep. Color and sheep. In court. Yeah. In court. Right. Either that kid was gonna go to the slammer, you know, <laughs> because he's picking flowers. Destruction of property, because he's picking like dandelions in the field. Like, what? Yeah, and then they they took him to court, and then they gave him a color and sheet in court. So. How, grump, how much of a grumpy old person do you gotta be to bring a little kid to court for picking flowers in your field? Like, yeah, honestly. Oh, Help you me. said that kid, I'm gonna throw that kid in juvie, and he's gonna learn his lesson for picking when flowers. When I'm old, I'm just gonna scare kids. Yeah, I'd just scare them. I wouldn't like, take him to court, I'd be like... Hey, what are you doing on my land? And Get off my lawn! I want that. I want to be like the legend of like the kids who are like don't go by old man. Oh, Rindy's my, my house. grandpa texts yeah. me. Old man, Rindy. My grandpa texts me. Answer number three. You guys live in homes with good TVs and service, so you're used to better than average TV quality. I.e., spoiled. He, but I live under a bridge. He's wow. a genius. But I live yeah. under a bridge <laughs> with a black and white. He only TV. speaks facts. He only speaks facts. He's a genius, Tate. <laughs> <laughs> but just, guys, just I live under of, a bridge. Looking at my little SE. It's embarrassing. You're, you're gonna live under a bridge. I live under a bridge just to prove I'm wrong now. <laughs> live under a bridge with like a <laughs> TV I have a cardboard, draw yeah. sharpie yeah. on it. My TV looking SpongeBob on now. <laughs> like it like I just like flip the cardboard <coughs> sheet to change my channel. You guys wanna watch Baywatch with me? <laughs> you know, Oh, I shouldn't say this. Um, I think why homeless people are homeless is because they're never happy. You know? What? Why would... They're, they're never in a good mood. You need to have the right mindset. Yeah, the drugs do that too. I don't know. You give somebody money and they're pretty happy. Whoever says money doesn't equal happiness... I'm yeah. wrong, by the way. It's wrong. I'm What's kidding. up with that? If I'm you gave kidding. me a billion dollars right now... I would be so happy, dude. Money. I'd probably be so happy. I know homeless people are homeless, not just because they have a bad mindset. I know. Money 
doesn't make you happy. The things you buy with money makes you happy. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. But money's no, also a one-way Just the sight of money makes me like happy. Corruption. If I saw a $50 bill, I'd be happy, even if it wasn't mine. Okay, but it doesn't bring happiness. <coughs> it makes you happy. It makes you happy <laughs> thinking about what you're going to buy to bring you happiness. Dude, this is like... <laughs> this is like trippy, bro. I hope so, I can just get... real like quick a question. Break. We're going to decide this on the spot. Are we pre-recording an episode? I we gotta go do something snacks. entertaining, I though. Go I wanna go get snacks. I'm okay. not hey, lie. Caleb, you wanna pre-record an episode with me? We could. Yeah, let's do a duo episode, just us two. Right. Ooh, Tate, you got your new shiny phone on, I man. I do. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that quality viewers, huh? Yeah. No more SE balls. Oh, no, we got two, two pretty Both high phones. quality phones. Yeah, but I have three cameras. So, you know. It doesn't even do I've got three of them. I'm just not showing. I got three cameras, so I'm sometimes <laughs> better than you. There's one little dot there. Yeah. I, uh, you got the Pro. No, the only difference between the Pro and then, like, normal, or, like, a Pro Max and a normal, whatever, is the uh, ultra-wide lens. And the yeah, size. size. And the zoom. Max. But Well, no, pr- you, you guys' phones are the same size. Well, none of ours. But if you had a Max is, or yeah. a Plus, it'd be bigger. Maxes are too big. Maxes are too big. Yeah. It's a way too big. It's a tablet. Like I think I, ha- if I put that in my shorts, my shorts would fall down. It's a Nerf <laughs> tablet. You know what I'm saying? Like this phone is like just this. Like it's still too big for me, but yeah. Because like, I how do you comfortably speech. hold it? With? Like you don't want to do two hands while watching a YouTube video. Yeah, and then when you have to go click something, you're gonna just like drop your phone because yeah. yeah. you're gonna have to like. I, I like to do my one hand. I support it with the the pinky. The pinky yeah. yeah, yeah. The well, biggest see, thing when, when you I look have... at my phone, I hold it like this. Oh, I gotta get rid of my notifications. Gotta keep everything Don't private. Exposed. No, I, it was uh, an icker. Um, you, you you go around the. Just not gonna comment on that. <laughs> no, it was, it was. Oh, you know, just gotta, oh, gotta, just gotta, gotta keep chat. things private. Just a snap. Just Snapchat. You, I can reach all corners. No, no hand movement at all. The biggest thing when I got my new phone is, since the SE has the bottom thing, I always would have my thumb over that part. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and like, then you'd accidentally right press here. Stuff. Yeah, in it's terrible. And it's sh- happening to me right I now. I kept saving chats. I mean, saving Snapchats. Oh. Because the save button is, it used to be right here, or it is still there. I don't know where it is. Right, and I'll, I kept I'll open saving my YouTube videos over and over and over and over forward. Again. Yeah, it's right there. And I'll you press that button. Yeah, I my YouTube videos time. keep skipping forward. Yeah. And for did like, you know now on YouTube you can hold down and it'll go two times? Speed? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah. cool. Oh yeah, okay. but I would never watch a video in two times speed. I do. One. I do sometimes. I'm a podcast fan personally. I can't. I listen to them while I do chores, like I'm vacuuming. Right. Yeah. I dishes. thought I thought my phone was broken. I was legitimately gonna send it in to say like I need a new <laughs> phone because I kept like switching. Because <coughs> like if you double tap down there or something, it switches to where you last were, and yeah. it just kept happening and happening. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. <laughs> And then I finally figured out, because I had my thumb like all the way over the screen. Yeah, I have to. I I like hold my phone like this now, where like only my pinky is holding the bottom, and my thumb is just on. Yeah, I've always held my phone like that, but man, that that was that was tough getting used to. You got a new phone too, huh? Not yet. Yeah, but it, that's it's... gonna be tough to getting used to too. Yeah. No, I still I the don't... age of the SEs are. Yeah. Zane, Zane's still got one. Zane's the only one left. Because he spends all of his money on other stuff. On other things that he thinks are more important, which is fine. Spend your money on what you want to, but I, I, I personally wouldn't get golf clubs. I personally would really recommend a phone because, like, I haven't had a charger. Once. Life-changing. I you don't know how bad an SE is until you switch. I had to charge no, my phone three I know times how bad a day. It is. Okay, I had to yeah. charge my phone <laughs> like know. three times a day. Dude, I this one probably still on like eighty nine percent. My my battery's actually doing all right lately, but well, have you been off it? Let more. 
my first phone's battery health was 49%. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I think dude. it was a 6, maybe, or a 7. That's Under bad. on my old iPhone. 49%. It's a second bell? Middle school started school, guys. No, they just, that's the get to class bell. Oh. When you get to oh, class, are we just going to be school. like... Hey, hey I am not one of those inferior... Middle schoolers, I'm. They're just sub. I don't know if they can see you. Ever. I bet Satter is yeah. checking to see if people better than you. Are doing I don't think he's skipping in here. No, no I think he just saw the lights on, so he went in. Oh, That's check up on us. Or he heard Rindy telling his story <laughs> about me drinking alcohol. Well, you you Joke. walked in right, of course, as you were like, we were drinking out. <laughs> <laughs> we we're just drinking it, you know. Should I keep the leg up like this, you know? Just my leg was sorry. Just stuck it up here, and I kind of haven't bothered to take it down yet. <laughs> You, yeah, you are flexible. <laughs> in jeans, too. In jeans, that's impressive. Dude, Evan can bench like a monster. 30,000 yeah. pounds. Easy. When I first saw you hit 135, what? you had like never been in the gym before. No, like, I've been, I went this summer. This guy, oh, actually? Oh. Yeah. They didn't really care about me, though, because I wasn't a Redfield kid. They're just like, oh, let's have a Hill City. He just shows up. Like, and it's not like they didn't teach you anything. It's like, just do bench press. Go do squat. Go do that. That's why I didn't know how to do, like, any of the stuff. Yeah. Were you in Redfield a lot this summer? Yeah, but I was there <coughs> the whole summer, yeah. Oh, dang. Did not. Hey, you just walked up to that bench, and I was... Yeah. Threw 135 on, and I was like, what? And then, Ooh. I was very surprised. I was jealous, to be honest. That happens a lot with people. I did not bench this week. I... I was injured. You threw up some weight though. You threw some squats up. I saw that you're throwing what, 350 on there? Yeah. You know, just 350. I was kind of frustrated I didn't get 355, but because that was my goal since like August, because we maxed in August and I wanted 355. Because we always max like in late July, August, and then uh, December, January. What did you get in August? August? 335. I have not maxed in two years. <coughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. I just do my jumps and my throws over in the corner. Okay, would you say you have gone faster from EXOs or just straight? You working hard? I don't know. Noise puts it a lot on EXOs. Like, um, he put it in his whole speech. He did hype it up quite a bit. And I don't know if it's just me getting faster. A well, part of it's EXOs. Something that sure. people don't realize is that we're also still getting stronger regardless yeah yeah you Just could a, you could bench one day not touch another weight and and go back four months later and bench more that's just the stage that we're in um but so then having something to accelerate like that that you know like exos is good but I feel like there could be improvements made, mm -hmm. for sure. But any good program will do improvements, you know? Right. True. Except for communism. Okay, maybe let's not say that. Yeah. Let's let's steer away from that. <laughs> I think Mr. Putin I'm is going to be mad about that comment. Dude, Putin was a valuable no, I don't, listener. I think Putin wouldn't to... be very mad. I think good old I'm Biden kidding. would be angry at that comment. Have you seen that one Young Sheldon video where um, yeah. Cliff and he promotes they, communism? They, yeah, the entire town shuns him. That's during the Cold War, too. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm cool. surprised he didn't get shot for saying that, actually. He did. Luckily, he didn't live I don't in like Young man. Sheldon. I've only ever seen clips of the show, but I don't like him. He's a little bit of a, a, little bit of a puke there. A little say. bit of a know-it-all, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, shut up. It's easy to be smart in a town full of rednecks. Yeah, honestly. Well, I think we're, uh, I think this we're is about, it's quite about quite a longer episode than typically. Yeah. We actually have time on our hands today. In this episode, we called in an expert. Oh, we did. We did. Is that going to be the title? We called in the expert. It's going to be the title. I just figured out how his mind works. Wait, what is that one game called? Beat the, um, and there's a big old board, and then you have to beat you beat the one guy in trivia questions to get up there trivia beat the beat the man beat the uh, what are you yapping about i'm not sure there? yet beat the 
Beat the boss. Beat the boss? Is that what it is? No, I'm just thinking of words. It's just red. No, okay, so you're down here, and then there's a big old electronic board with like numbers going up to like, I don't know, 100,000. And there's a guy sitting on the top of it. He's her, okay? And then there's like a question, you get questions, and then if you get it right and he doesn't, then you move up on the board. Mm. But then like- I think I, I've seen clips of what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. I used to watch that all the time. No clue what on. you're talking about. Okay, well. Beat the man, I feel like it is called. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Your Local yeah, Teens, where we, we called in an expert. Uh, we appreciate you watching. What's the, you guys watch PBS Kids, what, the, what does the guy say before every episode? Thank you for, viewers for watching. And I'll let you go. And then he goes into like the sponsorship. Thank you. This, video, this episode was, was uh, sponsored by Juicy Fruit. <laughs> Juicy yeah. Juice, I mean. Juicy Juice. This episode was Chuck provided Juice. by provided Caribou by o o Only us, because only us. I'm just tough like that. And viewers like you. Thank you. Woo! That's it. We're done.